let me turn on screen sharing for Where are you, Jed? Back in Maine there with the trees? <laughs> that was, yeah, that's an old one there. <laughs> in the trees. It's inappropriate. Yeah. I'm in the, I'm in the woods. I'm in the, uh, I'm at the laboratory. Yeah, I like that. There's that again. I'm not sure why it's not letting you in. Yeah, I don't know either what's up with that right now. It's it's okay. I don't mind listening in. If you have any thoughts and want to write them down um, and then shoot them to me, I'll definitely add them too because I'd love to get everybody's thoughts on these things. Um, I want to, cause we only have a couple people till, till 10. I want to get, um, I might jump from one question to the next. We are talking a lot about physical stuff and I want to think about this coat in two parts. So down here, um, actually let me share my screen real quick so that everybody knows where I'm at. So down in this second, right below where our post-it boards are, so in this second board down here, let's go to another question and explore this idea of, uh, is it question? It is question two. What is, uh, where does this object exist in the future? And let's think about this both digitally and physically. So we were talking about, when we first started talking about the chore coat, I think Dre, you mentioned this digital version. And I have thought about this coat existing digitally from day one as well. I think that to our customer, and there's another question down here about who our customer is, but you know, if you're gonna buy this coat physically, I think you have to be able to buy this coat digitally. And so where does this object exist in the future in the physical format and in the digital format. So you could think about it in other words, like what actions are you doing physically? What actions are you doing digitally? Um, you could think about it as where are you buying it physically? Um, but where is this existing in your mind? Oops. However, that word exist triggers for you. Are we saying or, or leaving notes? Oh, right. You, let's write some notes for a couple minutes and then, or a couple seconds, and then we'll start going through. Um, and sorry, is this, are we doing it in a different panel now? Yeah, this panel down here, right below our post-its. Okay. This one. Yep. Say the question again. So the question is, where does this object exist in the future, both physically and digitally? You can pick one or both um, and deep dive into where this exists physically. If you're really interested into this physical chore, where that exists, you know, if we take the example of gardening or writing or exploring, 
or where does this exist in the uh, digital world? If you're buying this on NFL's website, if it's going into Roblox platforms, um, does it have an appearance at a digital fashion week? Things like that. Um, since I'm not writing, I'll throw out just uh, one. I'm thinking of just places yeah. you might you might uh, acquire it. Um, physical world. Um, for some reason, I just came up with one of those feed stores, like the um, uh, an, like an animal feed store. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the one Julian that used to work, we used to work in that lab out in uh, Calabasas. There was yeah. a saddle store. Oh yeah, you, you used to love going to that saddle store. Yeah, that's a, that's a saddle store. So uh, I guess on the gardening and and just um, some of the animals. That's a good one. I'll I'll, I'll cap try to capture that for you. Yeah. Uh, so that for some reason that came to mind is just a very kind of interesting store to find artifacts and things. Um, it's kind of like one of those timeless stores that probably has looked and had the same stuff for who knows how long, and then. Uh, uh, I guess my my def my default to the digital space would be, um, you know, something like a crypto voxels for a wearable. Uh, yeah. And uh, as a, as sort of a near future platform that um, it's been around right. for a few years. Why and so why why is it there? Do you think? Um. What what has happened in the future? So if you go to the future and it's like, oh, I can get this on crypto voxels, or I can get it at the uh, Calabasas feed and feed and saddlery or whatever they're called. Yeah. Why is it certain? What was the question again? Well, if, if you go, if we, if we get in the shitty time travel machine, we go to this future and there's like, Oh, near future laboratory chore code. Yeah. And what, what symptom of that, that future world is such that it would be available on, on crypto voxels. What's going on in the world that you would need this chore code and crypto voxels or wherever blockchain, yeah. so, you know, in, in metas verse, when you when you when you open the city guide for metaverses metaverse and you're looking under like you're looking around like oh, a couple of cool restaurants oh look there's a there's a there's a clothing store or something of that sort and says like oh you can get a chore code here why are you doing that do you think um i mean is it is it just a representation of of the lab there of a place to get it um Place to go. I don't know. Gather one of these artifacts to uh, to have on uh, as your outfit. Mm -hmm. For um, I mean, it's in some ways a lot, of, a lot, a lot of the wearables in there come back to your identity of what you identify with in this real world. So I guess that's that's maybe part of it for me. Um, okay. So so maybe it's like because maybe so what you're making me think of is like. If in this wearables, you know, uh, digital wearables things, it's maybe not so much what you put on as much as like what you have in your your bandolier of, you know, or your your closet, your clothing closet. So people can look at your clothing closet and kind of get a glimpse of, oh, okay, I get I get the nature of this person, I get their character, I get their sensibilities. Yeah, I think I think so. A little bit of an identity thing. Of, um, this is wow. That's kind of interesting to think about that the that in this future world it's not so much what you're actually wearing your avatar is wearing as what your avatar could wear and maybe it's not even like i never wear that stuff but this is me this is another representation of myself yeah like yeah. it's like the people who get the, yeah. get the get the collect the nikes you know mm -hmm. i've got two of each of tom Sachs' shoe right. what the fuck's up with that like i got i got one of each to wear and one of each now, do you do you Just wear them? Go there. <laughs> I've I've not put one of I've not put any of the four of them on. Yeah, but so now, but now I feel better. I could, it's like I can put two. There, there's some that I can put on. Yeah, I guess if they were in crypto voxels right now, would you put them on? Like two in some ways, you know, that like a... assuming that like this. Let's say this this kind of connection that we're having right now was a crypto voxel -y kind of thing. Yeah, I might. You know, just like I've got this thing back here. Yeah, I might have my shoes back there as well and people be like oh cool man yeah i like you got those those are nice i, yeah, I mean, get you now yeah that thing back there I, I i guess i just look at is you know maybe one of those places we could explore in a, 
place like voxels yeah um and okay. you'd, you'd be wearing your shoes i'd have the coat um sort of a unifier for us in some ways yeah yeah i think about that when you're talking about it, i was like well what if you're sitting front row you're digitally sitting front row at I think Lueve just did a bunch of digital fashion for fashion week that came down the runway. And if you, if in the future you're sitting front row digitally, you know, if you're wearing the NFL shore coat digital version, that is such a statement piece, right? Like if it becomes the statement piece, I feel like if it starts to represent what we want it to represent, this idea of, what Julian, you were talking about earlier around, I can't even <laughs> reiterate it well enough, but like, if we start to really hone in on what it is that we're trying to harness with it, and then people resonate with that, and then someone's wearing that to represent themselves amongst other people, especially in a place like a fashion show where so much of the time it feels like complete bullshit half the time, like there's something powerful about that to me, you know? Mm -hmm. it's almost like the coat becomes this weird mark of like i'm here but i'm also i don't know it, i'm not going to say it's a rebellious piece in any way because i'm not <laughs> i'm not trying to take it that way but like there is something about it still having a representation right yeah it's almost like i want to see i started visualizing like different ways in which you might represent your it'd be an interesting kind of digital sketch um Tiffany, I just sort of thought of you for a second because you, you do those things really nicely and really quickly. But the I, I was just imagining like when you mentioned this thing back here, like I wondered what this would look like if there was also like um, uh, like a like a like a grid in in a beautiful kind of way of representing like all the all, all the stuff that you've, you, you know, or some of the things that you got, some of the things you decide to represent and where my mind went. Um, practically speaking was like, have, have you seen like the Tom Sachs rocks, the Mars rocks now? He has that particular way of representing them. That's it's, you know, it's classic Saxian kind of like hand drawn illustration. But the fact that they're kind of like they're they each have their own uh, container and it may be I don't even know exactly what it says, but it's got in his handwritten style like Mars rock 47. And then there's the rock. It's just a simple, you know, geometric primitive. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of imagining not literally that same thing, but but as if there were a catalog card of each item. Just kind of there. The other the other image that's coming to mind is like the grid of ribbons that you'll see on on a, you know, like on a soldier or a general or whatever their achievements their you know, the battles that they've fought. And it's all it's all kind of like encrypted in a way visually encrypted so you would have to know you'd have to be of that community to know like oh man that was man you you were there damn you know like what are the ways in which you can like visually represent the the your your fashion which isn't just something that you wear but something that you, it's like a badge in a way yeah um i also love this idea of buying it at a feed store like i'm just thinking about my dad who retired and now he's like really into home projects right and it's like i love the idea of him going to his local hardware store because he's super into his local hardware store now and then he gets this chore coat and then he gets a digital because you know when artifacts if everyone's if anyone's not familiar with artifact when they did their um they did their first sales of their like streetwear shoes or i think it was with nike and their experiment was to see what what would sell more their physical or their digital shoes mm -hmm. and and their digital shoes um, ended up, people ended up buying their physical shoes as tokens to their digital shoes, which I loved. So if my dad ends up going to the hardware store, buying this chore coat, gets the digital one for free or whatever, and it, it's the entry point or like the gateway drug to this world of NFL. Like if he gets, if it's sort of like this on-ramp into a world of exploring something that we want him to explore or whatever there's something fun to me about this this potential of him getting to explore something else um but it's seemingly coming from a place of rooted in work like a feed store
um, since we only have a couple more, sorry, Dre. No, I was going to say the feed store analogy makes me think of, uh, of like the outfitters analogy. Like when I was camping over the summer, I would go to an outfitter store in the middle of the woods and it just had tons of just, um, you know, all the things you need to, you know, camp or survive in the woods. And I imagine, you know, this, this coat being kind of like a, a leatherman that way, maybe there's a bunch of different accessories that you can get customized to your own, to your own coat, depending on, on, on what you plan on using it for. Yeah. I love that this camping aesthetic is coming up. It's personally something that I, I resonate with, but I also think it works really well in this, Tom Sachs, Mars rock aesthetic, I think aligns really well. Um, so I feel like we're kind of already, I feel like we're, we're hitting some aesthetic pieces that sort of seem to be vibing. Um, this, uh, the orange Dre, that's. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my stuff here. Do you want to go through some of yours? Yeah, sure. Let's see here. Um, I, you know, I started with like, you know, it lives in a special closet. I'm just imagining maybe this coat has like special storage necessities. Uh, you know, it lives as a digital twin for like metaverse exploration. Um, you know, some features uh, of the future. Hang on a second. I'm going to move <laughs> this giant image out of the way. Uh, some... <laughs> Some futures that already exist digitally, like video games and movies, uh, you know, the coach should accommodate being able to research those futures that we explore, um, you know, can exist in, uh, I'm thinking something portable, we might not always want to be wearing the coat because we might be at a fancy party that day, but then we realize like there's some futures potential in the fancy party and we want to like deploy the coat, uh, the coat quickly in a pinch. You know, how can it exist in alternate timelines or how does it exist non-linearly? But then I thought, oh, it's interesting that this coat is more of um, of, a, of a philosophy. Uh, you know, how can, it how can it exist mentally? How can we create a memory palace of, for futures research in our, in our mind so that we, if we're not wearing a coat right away, we can kind of like put things in various memory palace pockets. I don't know if you're familiar with that the memory palace, but, um, but that, that, that was something that struck me as an interesting way of like the, the code is also something that is mental beyond just physical and digital. This is great. Um, just in the sake of time, this, uh, the Tiffany, the dark purple, you want to run through yours? Okay. So first I was thinking, uh, like I, I'm very like object based, I guess. So I was thinking, it's like it serves as like a reminder or like a self-elected contract. And then later on, I was like thinking about, oh, it's like the feeling of like, I've earned this, like I'm doing chores because I'm like a, a good citizen. It's like a moral right. And then uh, I was trying to think of spaces and relating that into, um, I guess it's like the idea of when I'm in a destination, because when I'm in a destination already versus like in transit, I'm paying attention. So it's like when I'm on, I want the coat, but when I'm off, like I probably will be picking out tools. Um, but then again, I guess it's like good to have them. Uh, off of like a conversation before, I was thinking of like back and like co ops and like that kind of whole cooperative nature. And then uh, after Dre said like taking it off as, at a fancy place, one thing I like really think about is like okay if i'm ever at a fancy restaurant sometimes you see people who are just like in not like ridiculous wear it's just that it's like high fashion um and this coat could totally be high fashion in that. or maybe it's like some way to turn this into an accessory in that point at that point or like make it i don't know all the buttons closed so it's like it so if nothing falls out of your pockets and suddenly it's just like mm. It's my shawl of moral high ground. Love this. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad that you're object based because I, we want to make an object. So I, I think I want to work in both this, the duality of the the physical and then the the completely outlandish digital whatever world. Um. Nice. And then 
what else do we have here? This uh, nice coral salmon here. I believe that is Christina. Yes, it's me. So pretty simple. Yeah. We're wearing it regularly and uh, it has the corresponding version on the metaverse. Yeah. So there is the twin. Hey nice. guys, I gotta I gotta jump and unfortunately I'm gonna have to use this Zoom account for a, a call at ten. Okay, cool. Um, if you guys can make the next session later on, we'll go through the next three questions. It's gonna be at five Pacific time. So I hope this you was guys amazing. Enjoy. This was amazing. Yeah, this is super fun. Very generous. I'm loving it. I think we're getting some for this sure. Stuff. This is awesome. good stuff, Kemp. Really appreciate cool. you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll, I'll see I'll see you later this afternoon then. All right. All right. Bye, see guys. Ya. Bye guys. Bye. See ya. Thanks everyone.